One of the biggest pains for me was doing a bit change. How do I go from one bit to the next bit without screwing up my project? I'm going to show you how I do it starting now. What up? So today we're going to take a look on how I change my bits during, well, a bit change. One of the biggest issues I had when I was learning how to use my CNC Shapeoko was changing a bit, especially when I was going from, you know, a quarter inch end mill to a V carve bit on the same project. I was messing up my stuff. I couldn't figure out how do I change these bits? Not only that, what happens when I go from, you know, a quarter inch to an eighth inch bit? I was really having issues there. So I'm going to show you how I do this. And I was really having issues finding something online to show me how to do a bit change. But we're going to, we're going to do it the way I do it here. And uh, hopefully you um, will be helped by this video. If not, if there's a different way of doing it, let me know in the comments section below. Let me know if there's an easier way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something really simple. We're going to start out with a quarter uh, end bit, uh, just straight shaft. Uh, and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a circle. So we're going to take this here. We're just going to bring this right in the middle. Now I had already set up my piece of wood here. This is my stock. It is 20 inches in width and then you're looking at 12 and a quarter inches in height and the thickness is a little bit more than a half inch but we're not going to go down that far uh, the retract height we're looking at uh, we're only going to put this at five we're using the shape hoko xxl we're using this in mdf wood and we're going to start on the lower left hand corner this is very important because we're going to zero out right here and we're going to go from the top okay so we're just going to hit okay we're already set up and we are going to bring our circle right there. Now what I want to do is add a text. So let's find our text here. Not a big deal what we choose, but we're just going to put, um, I don't know, uh, we'll put sample. Actually, no, I know what we're going to put. We're going to put subscribe. I like it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit apply. We're going to bring this in the middle here and I'll show you how to center this up if you haven't seen any of our other videos. Um, but the width, we're going to go, we're going to go try five. We'll hit apply. Let's go a little bit bigger. We'll go um, six. Six. Hit apply. Okay, so now that's a little bit larger. And we're going to center these up. So I'm going to left click and drag. And I'm going to hit the alignment tools. And this one is right where we're wanting to be. It will bring it right in the middle from the top to the bottom to the left to the right. Now what I need to do is create a tool path. Now what I was having issues with when I started out doing this was I was creating a tool path, right, for my end bit, right, my quarter inch. And then I was creating the subscribe if I wanted to do maybe a V carve and I was running them off of the same G code that is what we're going to change here today so we're going to go to toolpath and we're basically going to set up two separate G codes for this one uh, subscribe I guess circle that we're going to do so the first thing we're going to do is set up our circle outline and we're going to do a contour and I don't want it that deep, so I'm just going to put it as um, maybe 100. And then the start depth, we'll, we'll take a little bit off at a time. We'll just go, um, we'll just go eight. That's a little bit lower than I wanted to go, but it's not a big deal. And we're going to do no offset. And you can see here that now we have our line going, right? We are on the circle. We're going to go to edit. We're going to speed this up a little bit because if not, it'll take you forever. This is how you speed up your CNC. You're going to look at your speeds and feeds per minute. Now the feed rate is how fast this thing is actually going to go around. So we're going to bump this up to 75 and we can actually manually adjust that speed off of the 
carbide motion. So it's not a big deal. You can put whatever you want. Just bump it up that you can actually adjust it faster if you want. The plunge rate, very slow. We're going to bump this to 25. And depth per pass, 2 inches. We can go maybe 4. Um, I think that's fine. And we're just going to hit OK. But we want our end mill here. So I'm going to hit Edit. And this is where you choose your bits. We're going to go 201 end mill. It's a quarter inch. You can see that that per pass. We're still going to change. I don't really want that that high. So we're going to go 75. We're going to hit OK. And now everything's set up. So I'm going to hit OK here. And I'm going to go show simulation. And now you can see, let me get rid of this. We're going to go to MDF. And now you can see our circle, okay? But now what we need to do is set up our text toolpath. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the exact same thing, except for we are not using the quarter inch end mill. We are going to use a V-carve bit. So now we're going to hit hide simulation, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to select this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a second toolpath. We're going to go V-carve, though. And now we're going to hit Edit. We're going to find our bit. And I think we're going to go with a, um, let's see here. I think it's the 301. I think that's what it is. Let me see. And yeah, that's what we wanted. We wanted a 301. That's a 90-degree V-bit. That's what we're going to use. The 302 is the 60-degree V-bit. So if I want to go with the 60-degree, I would go 302. But we're going to go with the 301. So let me just hit out of that. And uh, let's do the feed rate now while we're here. And we're just going to bump this up to 75. And then we're going to go plunge rate. We're going to go 25. And depth per pass, that's fine, that's fine. We're just gonna hit OK. And now what we have, let me hit OK again. We have two tool paths. Let me open this up again. We're gonna go edit. Um, yeah, we should be good. So that's basically where we're at. So now we have two tool paths. But here's the issue. If I were to hit, and let me show you simulation here. So that's what we're looking at, right? That's what we're looking to do. If I were to, cre to uh, create a G code right now, if I were to just hit save G code, what's going to happen is it is going to save one G code. It's going to send it over to the car by motion. And when this is done with the quarter inch, and I go to change that out with the 301, that router is only going to come up so high. And I am not going to be able to get my v-bit into the machine without taking that router out completely that's what i was dealing with because i just didn't know not only that because i was zeroed out because this is the toolpath that it's going to start out with right that's the toolpath one how am i going to know where to put my v-bit in depth wise right it's not going to be perfect so we're basically going to create two separate toolpaths and we're able to zero out each one and start from the exact same position. So what we're going to do here is we are going we are going to do the circle first. And this would work on whether or not you're using a quarter inch or an eighth inch. If this was a quarter inch and then you were doing a picture in here and you wanted to do, you know, an eighth inch bit, right? Maybe the 112 bit from uh, Carbide Create. It doesn't matter. You would do it the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this G code. But what we're going to do first, we're going to come over to the toolpath 2, which is the subscribe. And we're going to disable it. Now what happens is when you disable it, we're going to go to show simulation. You disable the subscribe right here on the toolpath. And all it's going to do is the first toolpath. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this G code. And save G code. And we'll, we'll say circle one we're gonna hit save now what we need to do is we're gonna hide simulation we gotta create a second G code for the actual subscribe right here and how we're gonna do that we are going to right click what we disabled we're gonna enable it and then we're going to right click up on the toolpath one which is our circle 
And we're going to disable that. We are going to save G code. And we'll just label that subscribe. And that's basically all you have to do. Now you got to go over to your carbide motion. All right, so if you are at the stage that you are changing bits out, you should be okay with zeroing out your machine. That is using the carbide motion. And that's what we did. We took our quarter inch bit, that's our first tool path. We set it right over here in the corner. All right, that's where our start part is gonna be. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with our second tool path, but that is where we are starting. That is our zero area right here in that bottom left corner. We zeroed it out and we're going to run the first tool path. So now what we need to do is find the circle that we created first. We're going to go to desktop, CNC designs. We're going to go circle. We're going to hit open. And we're basically ready to run. We have our quarter inch bit in. So if I hit run, it's going to remind me. I'm going to hit start. And it will actually start running that first path. All right, so basically now it's done running and it picked itself up and it brought itself back. So we could do a couple of different things here. Now, the first thing we could do is we could actually put our bit in now. It's a little bit of an awkward position. So if you have a cabinet, that's a little bit tough. But we can actually take that bit out or we can bring this up and do it up here. So let me show you that. We're just going to go to our rapid position. We're going to hit this bottom button right here. The south, it's all the way at the bottom of the board. Check it out. Now, even if I wanted to change it out over here and it just stopped and it came up, which it will, I could have changed it out over that board. It brings it up enough that I don't have to worry about taking this router out or I can do it right here in front of me. So now we're just gonna take our, oh, wrong one. We're going to take this here, we're going to open it up, loosen it up, we're going to take out our quarter inch bit, and we don't have to worry about this thing coming out and not measuring up to the next bit. You see, because that bit has to sit perfectly right there, but we're going to zero that out. So not a big deal. So let me loosen this up a little bit more. Take this one out. We're going to put our V bit in. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just place it in like so. Tighten that down. And now we can set up for the subscribe. So now all we basically have to do is zero this out right where we had our first bit, right? We're just going to bring it over to that corner and we're going to hit the run button. All right. So we set our zero just like we did the quarter inch and we're going to head over here. We're going to upload the subscribe G code. Remember there was two of them. We're going to upload that subscribe right now. So we zero that out. We're going to hit done. We're going to upload new file because that's the old one. We're going to load new file. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to subscribe. Remember subscribe one that we did. And now if we were to hit run, just come over here, hit start. And there you go all dead center right in the middle of where I wanted it. I got my circle over here that was cut with the quarter inch end mill. And then I got my V bit the 90 degree to cut out my subscribe right in the middle. Perfect from the top, perfect from the bottom and both sides over here. 
Now, I am sure there are other methods out there. This is just what I do because it's easier. I know that I'm going to be able to zero it out. It's going to go right where I want to. Again, if you want to use a quarter inch bit or if you want to use an eighth inch bit with a quarter inch bit, right? So you want to make a picture in here that's a little bit more detail, but you want that border and you don't want to have to take all that time to use that eighth inch bit. This is the way I do it. If this video helped you, subscribe, thumbs up, smush the like button. You know, click that bell so you see more of these videos. Check us out over at the Instagram page, at Twitter View Zone. We'll be back with more videos soon.